Hi, and welcome to Neo to This Makeup. I'm Neo, and today this anime makeup look is inspired by Dark Samus from the Metroid series. Well, technically Metroid Prime. Um, I honestly had no intentions of doing this character originally until one of you recommended it, and it was Sinister Psycho Chic or Sinister Psycho Chick. I don't know how you pronounce it personally, but um, I can't help but say thank you for recommending this because honestly, I am living for this. And on camera, I look a little pale. That's because the sun's like going down. I'm using light from above and I'm using my phone for lighting. So I do look a little paler thanks to this. Just being completely honest. Um, but yeah, I honestly really enjoy creating this. And if you want to see how I create this look, continue watching. Okay, so let's get started. I already took care of my eyebrows and I primed my lids. And I didn't use any eyeshadow to actually set the primer. I actually just used my translucent powder. And, you know, I've gone back and forth on what I'm going to do for this for this look. Because I'm like, I want to use... <laughs> I want to use this blue, I want to use this gray, but I also want to use darker blues. But I don't have any darker blues that are in here. And I don't want to reach out into other palettes because I like to keep it to one palette. So... Actually, let me see. So I hate to be that guy, but I'm going to be using two limited edition palettes that are no longer available. I'm sorry, they're both Kat Von D, it's the Pastel Goth, and the Metal Matte palette. Honestly, I could use this Sephora Pro palette, but I don't want to get it out right now because I'm lazy. But you could do this, this look with those as well. So, this is a Sephora Pro editorial. So taking a fluffy brush, I'm going to take Doom, right? Yeah. Doom. I'm going to use it as a transition shade, so right above my crease. Yeah, I need that blue because we're going to go deep and I need something to at least kind of rein it in. So, yeah. And again, if you have other palettes that have these similar shades, use those. You don't have to use these exact palettes. So now to deepen the crease, I'm going to be using Nebula right here, which is a very vibrant dark blue, and I barely tapped into it. So I'm going to be using that just below. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking my Sephora Collection number 10 brush and just blending this out because it's very harsh. So here's where I don't know what I want to do because I have a few different ideas. Uh, one is using the Kat Von D Basket Case Anti-Precision Eyeliner or using these uh, Liquid Eyeshadows by Wet n Wild. Um, probably using the black one. I'll save this one for later for waterline, but for right now, I'm gonna have fun and use these two somehow. So this is the black and the blue. I'm gonna use the black all on the lid and I'll be, you'll see. Because I might not use the blue afterwards. <laughs> I'm glad that these don't hurt my eyes. <laughs> Cause my eyes are really sensitive and pastilla, uh, glitters, liquid glitters hurt. And so do the, uh, Tarte glitter eyeliners. I cannot use either of them because they literally burn my eyes. These don't. And neither do the collab glitters. So thank you, Went Modeling Collab. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm going to slightly blend it out and possibly use a little bit of the black from the Metal Matte palette, which is jet just to slightly deepen the outer third and you'll see because I'll be right back okay so I actually really like how this is looking it's definitely reflecting more blue than I remember but at the same time I think it works really well together um, so I'm actually gonna go off camera gonna do the same thing to this eye and I'm also going to use the Wet n Wild uh, Mega, what is it? The Mega Liner, Metallic Liquid Eyeliner, and the shade Sea Dreams. And the shade of eyeshadow I used was 
the Serious Knights. I'm gonna do a small wing, only to just bring a little more blue back. And yeah, after that, I'm going to take care of the rest of my eyes, doing like, uh, curling them, curling my eyelashes, putting on mascara and false lashes, and also take care of my full face, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back, and um, well, it's not picking up as much on camera, but this highlight, I'm using the Aurora Glow Kit by Anastasia, and um, Spectra and Orion, right? Orion? Yeah. They're bomb. I'm in love now. I wasn't sure about it because I used this one earlier and I was like, mm, it's okay. It's nice. I mean, it looked good with what I was doing, but now I'm like, okay, Spectra. I love it. <laughs> and the sad thing is, I actually originally got it only because of Spectra. And I'm like, oh, I wish it was just a single. And now I have it and I'm using it. I'm like, yeah, no. I love it. Okay, so now back to the eyes. I'm going to be taking Jet from the Metal Matte Palette and just running that under the outer there of my eyes with this little liner brush. Taking this kind of thin brush, I'll be dipping back into Velour and going about halfway through. taking this tapered blending brush because I'm not going to refer to it as a flat blending brush, it's not flat. I'll be taking Doom and going around right here as well as smoking out the other two. Now for inner corner highlight you're probably thinking, okay going back to the Aurora Glow Kit but I'm not, I'm actually going into this blue shadow right here from Sephora Collection called Messenger Bird and popping that on the inner corner. For the waterline, I'll be taking this Kat Von D Basket Case Anti-Precision Eyeliner and pray for the best. I know it's a nice formula and everything, I'm just saying like it's huge. So that's why I'm praying for the best. Okay, so that went on very creamy and I like it. Ooh. For Bottom Lash Mascara, I'll be taking the Lash Renegade by Wet n Wild. And now we're gonna move on to the lips. Okay, so before I go into lipstick, I'm actually gonna be going into it with the lip liner and this is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in Perversion. I got this because it was on sale and uh, I thought why not? Ooh. So that was actually hard to do because this is a very soft pencil and it's not that pigmented actually. I expected more pigmentation. Um, you really have to press to get any pigment. Not a fan. Honestly, I'm not. I definitely prefer spending eight more dollars than what I did for this on the Kat Von D formula. So I probably will return this. Now I'm going to be taking Kat Von D's Witches and I'll be leaving the middle open. Okay, so now in the center, I'm going to add Cavandi's Bruno. And I just think, oh my gosh, yes, this is what I needed. <laughs> and to blend it, I'll be I'll be using my finger because Brushes don't seem to work lately. So I did have a phone call I had to take, but I actually uh, did finish up these lips off camera, patting them out with my finger. I think it blended out better than a brush normally does lately. I don't know why but I want a little more pop. 
So I'm going to be taking this brush right here, taking a little bit of Orion, just popping that right in the center. Flipping over and taking just a touch of Spectra to get the sides. Okay, so now I'm gonna let down my hair and I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are with the finished look and I love how this turned out. Um, the funny thing is, this is reflecting more blue than it normally does. It's very, very black, I can assure you. And, it, and at one point I really wanted to use this, but if I were to use this on top of these two, it would have looked like a glitter flip. And I honestly have to think, uh, Sinister Psycho Chic, or Sinister Psycho Chick, I don't know how they pronounce it, for recommending this because honestly, I, I hadn't even thought of Dark Samus. So thank you so much uh, for the recommendation, for the request. I honestly do take requests. So if you have a character you want to see me turn into a look, please let me know. I'd love to look into them if I don't know them and then do something based off them. Luckily, I'm a huge Metroid fan, so I knew Dark Samus right away. And I feel like this crazy hair is like going with this so well. Um, yeah. Aside from that, I don't know what else to say except thank you for watching. Uh, everything I use will be linked down below. Well, be listed and linked down below. Except for the eyeshadow palettes because they were limited edition and they're no longer available. I'm sorry. I really am. Um, aside from that, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do like, comment, and subscribe. And if you like me and you want to see more, please subscribe and click that little bell button because every time I release a new video, you'll get a notification. Aside from that, I don't know what else to say, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.